Hello guys, in this video we will see how to use FirePHP to send debug data in the browser console. So to use this, we need to have the FirePHP plugin, Chrome plugin, and then you add it to the Chrome, and then you will be able to see it on your DevTools as a FirePHP. You can reload from here, and then this is enabled for you. Now I want to, rather than using Vardom or use logs in the log files, I want to log into this console. So to do this I am already on this on this page so what I'm going to do is I'll just add here console log and I add a message say for example fire PHP testing and then I will need an array or uh, I don't need it but I might want an array here so this is optional it's not necessarily to be required so it's not required you can do this or you can uh, you can do it without array or without an array so let's say name or message hello world now if I refresh and this will be logged here fire PHP testing context is hello world now I can use this method console log in any of the core classes to find out about certain data so if I go console log CMS page and then I will need to know about the ID so I say page ID equals page ID now if I refresh home page then I will get CMS page the page ID is home as you can see it here uh, similarly you can go to the product controller and then you find out about the product ID console log product I will just say product page product ID equals equals product ID now if I just go to any product page and then rush I will get the product page and then product ID as 1050 so this is what I'm going to build so let's start it now and see how we can build it so first of all we'll create a module we call it fire PHE. so we just say we create create the module XML then training fire PH got a registration file now we've got the module skeleton here the module XML and the registration file I'll create a file called logger inside the module model or so model logger class is logger now I will have a constructor the constructor will have monolog logger factory logger factory and then I will just initialize the logger so this will be logger factory create and I will have the name I'll give it a fire then handlers will be an array and it will be fire php handler let's just import it and then this logger equals whatever created and this will be like here fire php i need to initialize this so protect it or just say private i need the monologue I need to import this as well so use as monologue logger this will be monologue logger log and that's it so i will need a method a public method get logger this will return this log now i will need a method to send and the data to the browser which is the debug method and that is void and this will be this get logger and then debug I'll give it a message so this will have string message then array context and this array context will be optional and now in the debug I will say message and then debug sorry context and that's it now you can see it's no difference than a logger it's simply a logger but it will send all these data to the browser instead of debugging into a file now we created a module at the model and what we need to do is to make a method that is invoked every time we're going to use it because we don't want to inject this class uh, everywhere we just want to use the method and debug the data find out the data and then remove it just use it as var dump but instead of a var dump we use the console log and that is a replacement it's not a full replacement of the vardom but in some cases you can use the console log here the fire php console log instead of the vardom and then once you verify the data in the browser then you can remove it so it's not something you constantly log in into it so to do this i will need a folder and a php file inside functions folder and i'll call it logger and this will be invoking the class method and this will be a if is in function exist console log then we create it we can create it now and then we say function console log and this also will accept string message and array context and is optional as well and will return void now what we need to do is we call the object manager get instance and then create or get an instance of the class logger here and then call this method debug which is 
is at the end here so this is all we do but we use it through the object manager class and that's all to it i think and this class should be ready to use in a minute but first we don't have a way to load this log file to load this log file we go to the composer json of the project so you will go inside main project and the main composer json and we will look at the auto load and inside the auto load files and inside files we will go here and then we will say app code training fire phe functions logger phe and this is it now once you have added this class what you need to do so magento by default it doesn't load it and the composer doesn't load it so what you need to do is you can say composer dump auto load and this will auto load it will write it will add this to the auto load files now what we need to do is to run php setup upgrade in order to make this registration so to register the module so we run the php pin magento setup upgrade and then with that also i need to disable the full page cache so cache disable full page now we run the setup upgrade once the setup upgrade is done then we can see how to use this method okay setup upgrade is done and the full page is disabled now we will have a look on, on how to use this method so we will go and see we have this console log now if we go to the vendor and then magento and then module cms controller index index and then i will add the debug gear down the line so where i'm going here here so i want to find out about the page id so here i will find out something about the page so i will say console log message i will say cms page and then i will add context to it i will say page id or cms page id equals page id so this is really like a vardom but instead of using a vardom i just use a console log and this console log will get me the data in the browser now if i inspect go to the fire php refresh now it doesn't do anything because it say you must grant fire php permission so i will go to where is fire php i grant it permission allow now it should be working now i go here go enable now if i reload i will get this data cms page and the page id is home if i go to I need to remove it now if i go to product page i will go to catalog controller product view notes product view again the execute method and then i'll just paste that in which now say product page and then this product id will be product id and then if i go to women jackets and here if i click on the product page on the product link i'll go to the product page and i should see yeah the deeper data here product page and this id 1226 so this is it i think i just want to note one thing a uh, this is should be a development module it should never go to live you can use it in live in certain circumstances to find out something down the line but since you have full page cache probably you don't get the console log you don't get the log data and also you probably want to use it in the development environments rather than live and uh, this is really useful instead of using the vardom and also probably sometimes the x debug will run the application very slow and you only want to find something trivial but it just gets delayed by the xd bug so you can stick this method in and then you can find out whatever data you want to look to i think this is it please like and subscribe if you like the video and i see you next time